What's up, everybody? I'm Slot, a movie guy, and here's my movie review of Chong Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, directed by Dustin Daniel Curtin, starring Samuel Liu, Aquafina, Tony Leong Chiwe, and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, martial arts master Chong Chi confronts the past he thought he left behind when he's drawn into the web of the mysterious Ten Rings organization. I couldn't wait to check this film out because, for one, it's a kung fu movie, and I love kung fu movies. I mean, for example, Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee, and then Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. So this was just, like, around my alley, and I'm a sucker for kung fu movies. I mean, anytime one, like, comes out, I'm just like, yes, I'm checking it out. It's on my watch list. Definitely going to see it. And plus, it's an MCU film, so I think MCU have done an incredible job with their films in the past and recent years and stuff, so... And I've been a big fan of MCU. I think they've done an incredible job and stuff with some of the characters I read the comic books of and stuff. And some characters I don't didn't know what they were about and stuff. Never read them and stuff until I watched their films. I'm like, okay, I'm interested in reading the comics. So definitely this is like one of the characters I didn't read the comics of. So I just didn't know anything about them. So I was curious, like, hmm, what the MCU going to do to make me be interested in this character? So... I was definitely excited checking it out. And then plus the director involved, Dustin Daniel Critton, the guy that directed Just Mercy, Short Term 12, and The Glass Castle. I think this director done an incredible job directing those films, especially Just Mercy, which I reviewed on my channel in 2020. You can check that review out. Click on that circle icon on the top. So all those things I mentioned definitely made me excited checking this film out. So I checked it out in the movie theaters, and all I got to say is, wow. What a fantastic film from start to finish. I had a blast with this one, man. Whew. I mean, this was like, I mean, as far as like the excitement levels, what we had in the past with MCU films like Thor Ragnarok, Captain America went to soldier and stuff. This gave me those vibes. And I was just so happy of checking this out in the movie theaters and stuff. Man, this was just, oh, it gave me those, like I said, the movies I mentioned, it gave me those vibes. And I was just so excited when I left out the movie there, I was like, wow, I'm at, it, it just, it just, it, it just bring back like memories. What I have with those MCU films. I watched in the theaters, guardians of the galaxy and stuff like that. Just like that experience. And man, where do I begin starting off with the action in this movie off the back? It, this is absolutely like top notch. Like if I was to say, which like top, like, ranking all the MCU films with best action and stuff like that, Shang-Chi easily will be, like, top 10. The Kung Fu choreography stunt work is so unbelievably, like, like, good. I mean, it's, like, crisp good, man. Like, off the back, it's, like, I, it's, like, like the, like, the best dinner meal you had. This is, like, the best choreography stunt work I've seen, man. It is just so incredible man i mean with simu lu as like chong chi with the art choreography stuff work stuff like that the kung fu and the the bus scene and stuff all that really works well on so many levels and the camera work definitely helps it out it stays focused on the action stuff it don't goes like cuts so many times where a scene from kung fu or gun action movie and stuff like that it just it really is smooth and it focuses on it so much that I really like captured every second of the action stuff and it really pays off. And what really definitely pays off is Samuel Liu is like a stunt man, so that definitely works well. So you actually can get like some of that stuff like the like the real person like doing it. So I really was gravitated to that and I thought the action was great from beginning, middle and end in this movie. Wow, I can see myself rewatching the movie over and over again. It just gave me those Bruce Lee movie vibes and all that. It just, if you like a big Kung Fu fan, this will not disappoint you. And I loved it from everything, man. It was just so good. I loved it, man. It was, uh, I ain't going to get in spoilers more about it, especially like when it came to like the building stuff like that, when they fighting on it, it just... It was just, it gave me goosebumps, man. Oh, I loved every second of it. And the actors and stuff, like, they were very well committed and stuff. When when it came to, like, like Chong Chi, the actor that played his sister, the action and stuff like that was good with her and stuff, everything. And I'm just going to leave it as that. Now the performance in this movie, Samuel Liu as Chong Chi. Wow, fantastic. He really killed this role, man. Oh, I love this character. I mean, 
Easily, like, right now, like, one of my favorite characters in the MCU. He was very likable. It ain't, like, one part of the movie where I said, oh, I hate this character. He's annoying and stuff. I really gravitate to this character. I cared about him when it came to his origin story and stuff. When things were happening, we had to, like, confront his past and stuff like that. I definitely was glued to my seat, like, just trying to get to know this character and care about him and stuff. His relationship when it came to his father, his sister and stuff, and his friend. Katie played by Aquafina. All that stuff definitely made me like gravitate to this character. And I can't wait to see this character in the future MCU films. I think the directing and writing when it came to this character, they did a fantastic job executing it very properly well. Man, it it's Samuel Lewis' performance. It's Chong Chi. Man, I can't wait to see his more of his performance in the near future in the MCU films. Like I said, seeing his character and his performance. He just really killed it in this movie. And I man, I I, I, it's a lot that I can say about it. I'm just going to leave it as that. Katie, played by Aquafina, is fantastic. I thought the comic relief stuff really worked with her character and stuff in the film. And Aquafina is just a phenomenal actress anyways. I mean, from the films like The Farewell, Crazy Rich Agents, and Riot of the Last Dragon, she did a fantastic job in those films. And I highly recommend you checking those three films out if you haven't seen them yet. Man, Aquafina's character in this film was just so funny and just definitely gave energy in this film. I mean, when it, like, this film already had, like, a lot of, like, investing stuff, but just adding Aquafina in this movie, her character as Katie, just definitely elevated the movie, like, up to here, man. I mean, even, like, when, like, the subtlety moments and stuff, when it came to the comedy and stuff, I thought it definitely worked well and stuff with her character. She was just, man, she worked in this film, and her chemistry with Samuel... Samuel Liu in this film definitely worked well. I could really buy into their relationship and the chemistry and stuff that they really are friends. And I thought she really worked well. Aquafina is just so talented. I can't wait to see her character in the future MCU films. Also, man, it just, there's so many characters I loved in this film, man. And I think this film definitely does a great job when it comes to the writing and stuff. So I thought it really worked well. Then the actress that played Chung Chung Chi's sister and stuff, she's really good. Definitely was like a home run in this film. I mean, I never heard of this actress, and I can't pronounce her name. You can read it right there. But she is really good here. And there's a light, there's some backstory with her and Chong Chi's character in this film. So much backstory with their characters and stuff. When I thought, like, wow, when like when her when she first appeared on screen, I was like, Wow, this character is very interesting. So I'm very interested with this character also in the MCU. So, like I said, the characters are so like like very interesting in this film, and I can't wait to see them in the future. Man, they they did a fantastic job with them. And the actor that plays his father, Tony Leong Chawe, excuse me if I pronounce your name incorrectly. I thought he was good and stuff. Him as like the father and the main antagonist of the story. So much backstory when it came to his character and stuff about the Ten Rings and stuff or what he had to do and stuff when it came to his kids and stuff and all that. There's so much backstory, which I won't get in spoilers, but I thought they did a fantastic job with him as, like, the main villain and stuff like that. And it was, like, so much we learned so much about. So I thought it really worked, uh, especially when it came to an MCU villain and stuff. So I thought they did a great job with him and all that. So the performance and everything and stuff was so good and stuff in this film. I thought... It was never, I never thought like one acting performance was like very weak and stuff. So that was really good. Now, the humor in this film, like I already mentioned when it came to Aquafina's character, I say for the most part, I really enjoyed the humor in this film. Now, some parts I will say that some of it kind of was like a little bit forced in there where I was like, uh, they didn't have to add that in the scene and stuff. But some of it really worked, especially when it came to some of the MCU characters that did that. It, that does make like that does come back from previous MCU films, which I won't say I won't spoil it. But if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. There's one particular one which I didn't expect to come back, and I was and when I looked at the when as I was watching the film, I was like, whoa, huh, really? They, <laughs> I should have realized that they were gonna bring him back and stuff since we've seen the previous MCU film kind of did things with the character and stuff, which y'all know what I'm talking about is. I don't want to get in spoilers. It's hard for me. Like, just not, I don't want to get into it. But, man, I was I was kind of, like, really kind of shocked that they had a movie. Then again, I was kind of like, I can see why they did it. So, and stuff. So, I thought that really worked well, the, the comedy with the character that was in this film and stuff. So, 
I thought the humor for the most part worked. Some of it kind of can be a little bit forced in there. But for the most part, I really had like a good time like chuckling and laughing and stuff that when it came to like when it came to Aqua Phoenix character or something that like was a funny like one line one liner moment. So it really worked well for me. Forgot to mention in my review, the directing and writing is absolutely fantastic. Dustin Daniel Critton does a fantastic job and stuff in his film. This directing in his film is just fantastic. I definitely can't wait to see him do more future projects. Hopefully he can might like just direct the sequel to this film and stuff. So I think he did a great job in the writing. It definitely is great here when it came to like the origin story of Chong Chi and the stuff like that, when it, the families and stuff. Everything about it. Directing writing is fantastic. The performance is great and stuff. The humor. Everything in this film works. Now my negatives for the film. Now I I really enjoyed this movie, but the one of my negatives is that the story of the film. And I thought the story was very investing, but when it came to like the second half of the film, it really, really kind of became exhibition heavy. And is it a good thing or a bad thing? In this film, some of the exhibition stuff was very necessary. I felt like I needed some exhibition on some of the stuff when it came to Chong Chi's father, or what his motives and stuff, why he had to do the things he had to do and stuff, and Chong Chi, where he had to, like, kind of have to go back and stuff, the stuff from his past and stuff. So I thought all those things worked well, but when it came to, like, the subtlety moments, it kind of really, really dragged on at times in the film. It sometimes... It can get a little boring at certain aspects of it in the film. And I think the writers wanted to give us a little bit some information about the characters, which not a not not like not like a negative against them. I can see why they wanted to add so much like exhibition stuff and stuff like that and subtlety moments. But some of that stuff I think could have like just played out in the film and stuff to keep the movie going and stuff, characters doing stuff and mention some stuff like when it came to Chong Chi's character, mentioned some things in his past and stuff. I felt like the subtlety moments when it came to like, especially in the second half, kind of like lingered the film on a little bit and made the runtime a little bit longer. And I felt like they could have cut that short a little bit and stuff. Or like I said, as like action stuff still going on, just say little things here and there to keep the movie flowing. Because at some parts I was kind of like, okay, let's get to the next part. And that's one of my like little negatives and stuff like that when it came to like the story and stuff so much exhibition when it came to like the backstory and stuff like that to his father and stuff like that and that's one of the things i could say kind of lingering the film on and stuff exhibition stuff and that's pretty much it overall fantastic film from start to finish i highly recommend checking out chong chi legend of the ten rings if you haven't seen it yet definitely a film worth your time worth to watch everything about it man it's just a film that I can see myself watching over and over again when it comes to Kung Fu and stuff. And if you love Kung Fu movies, this is definitely a film that I'll definitely give you, give it to you and everything. It's just one of those films that I just like, wow, this is amazing. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to give this film an A-. minus. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this film. Did you like it or not? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm very curious about your thoughts and opinions about the film. Very excited that to see what all y'all have to say about this film. Definitely love that. I can't wait for the sequel to come out of this film. And plus, I forgot to say this, there's a post credit scene in this film and stuff, which definitely had me interested in stuff, what's going to happen next MCU film. The, the way they, the post credit scene, I was like, okay. <laughs> I was just, it, it had me shocked for a moment. If you've seen the post credit scene, you know what I'm talking about. Man, I, I, I'm really very curious where this is going to go and stuff like that. And, that's pretty much it. And as always, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button for more future content. That's all I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.